Intelligent upscaling technologies such as DLSS from NVIDIA or AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution have been the discussion point for technology enthusiasts over the last years. These technologies allow games to render internally at lower resolutions and then the image is upscaled in a smart way so that the output image quality is nearly as good as the native image, sometimes even better. This is freeing up computational resources and now Team Xbox is actually building up their own technology based on machine learning and in today's video we are going to discuss what Microsoft is actually cooking up and what that means for Xbox gamers. Hello gamers from around the world, this is Boxenberger, the video game enthusiast from Germany and I'm back doing videos after covering the entire Xbox Showcase week with a lot of live shows and today's video is about smart upscaling technologies and the reports that Xbox is working on their own upscaling engine. So make sure to get the best audio visual experience in this video by setting your player to full 4K 60fps and while you're at it, it would be awesome of you to consider to hit the like and subscribe button and maybe even turn on the notification bell to not miss out on future content. I super appreciate your support and now let's look into these reports about Xbox building up a team to develop smart upscaling technologies. We have discussed different technologies like that on this channel before. Most recently AMD presented their Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 which is their second version of their upscaling technology with great success. The technology performs quite well especially considering that AMD is not relying on machine learning or dedicated hardware than their main competitor Nvidia. Nvidia has been leading the intelligent upscaling technologies for years years with their deep learning super sampling aka DLSS. Nvidia graphic cards have dedicated silicon called tensor cores to leverage hardware based machine learning to upscale lower resolution images and with that they are currently benched at the market. For console gamers AMD's FSR 2.0 is currently the most promising technology because it is available across all consoles and across all graphic card manufacturers on PC and that's why it is of course an interesting technology for developers to use because it runs on a wide range of devices. And earlier this year we learned that FSR 2.0 is now fully implemented in the development kit, the GDK from Xbox. Even Intel is aware of the importance to have a proper upscaling technology. For their new GPU line called ARC coming later this year, they already announced XESS and demonstrated that with impressive results. Smart upscaling technologies are the future for video game graphics. I've said it many times before, native 4K resolution is a waste of computational resources especially given the quality and performance of the upscaling technologies out there. Rendering at lower native resolutions allows developers to make use of extra computational resources for better frame rates, better physics, better simulation, etc, etc. And just recently after the presentation of the next Forza Motorsport, I've seen the discussion out there. How can Turn 10 realize a 4K image at 60 FPS and supporting ray tracing during gameplay? Without having any further information about it, I would be surprised if they don't use some sort of intelligent upscaling to free up resources. And the thing is, if they don't tell us, we will never know because these smart upscaling technologies can lead to incredible results in terms of image quality. So it's obvious that not just the graphic card manufacturers jump on the train of having intelligent solutions to upres the images. Unreal Engine 5 for instance has its own technology called Temporal Super Resolution, which is basically an improvement of anti-aliasing technologies and increasing the sharpness of textures that are at lower native resolutions. So it really is not a surprise that a company like Microsoft or better said the Xbox team is now jumping on that train to develop their own technology. Now this was not an official announcement but in a few job listings team Xbox is searching for senior software engineers or principal software engineers with the description that reads as follows. The Xbox graphics team is seeking an engineer who will implement machine learning algorithms in graphics software to delight millions of gamers. Work closely with partners to develop software for future machine learning hardware. The other job descriptions are more vague with tasks as research and prototype machine learning algorithms and implement software that incorporates machine learning algorithms for graphics in shipping hardware. Now I want to also mention that this job listing is already a couple of months old but obviously a lot of people including myself missed it and that's why I want to talk about this here. So it looks like Microsoft is building up a dedicated team that is leveraging machine learning for the Xbox consoles. It is interesting that the job listing is particularly stating the Xbox graphic team is seeking an engineer so we are not talking about a position in the mother company. There are basically two options in my opinion what this could mean. The first is of course that Microsoft is developing a proprietary solution for the Xbox hardware. We know that AMD does not have dedicated silicon like tensor cores on the actual hardware 
but that does not mean that the GPU in the Xbox Series consoles can't do machine learning. For instance, through its FP16 capabilities, machine learning can be realized. So this is one option, that the Xbox graphics team is actually developing a proprietary solution for the already shipped hardware to leverage machine learning algorithms. Of course, either for upscaling, which the job listing suggests, or my personal hope is that machine learning will be used further down the line, not just for graphics, but also for better physics, better lighting, better AI and better simulation of our beloved gaming worlds. The second option is of course that they are aiming for a solution where the entire Xbox ecosystem, including PC, can benefit from, which would mean that they could implement that into the DirectX toolset. Of course, the benefits are here that this way they could reach a much broader audience than if they only develop it for Xbox consoles. Arguably, this would even mean that they could reach a broader audience than Nvidia alone, for instance, could. And we know that Xbox is more than just a console now, it's an ecosystem. First party content is also developed, of course, for the PC platform, and so it would only make sense to have a more unified solution when it comes to a machine learning algorithm. And I would be surprised if Xbox would choose a proprietary solution just for the consoles, because that would mean that the developers have to use different technologies on console and PC. And I think it is obvious that in the past, Microsoft has made a lot of moves towards a unified development platform for both PC and console, and of course the cloud, which is mainly running on serious console hardware. Be that as it may, in the lead up to the launch of the current gen consoles, Microsoft has advertised the Xbox Series consoles as consoles that are capable of using machine learning. And even people like Jason Ronald, who is the director of program management at Team Xbox, has talked about him being very excited for the future of machine learning. But now we are around one and a half years into the current generation of consoles and so far it has been relatively quiet around machine learning. And given how long it took Nvidia and AMD to develop proper solutions for upscaling technologies, I think this is something we will see further down the line into the current gen consoles, which isn't really surprising, considering that a lot of other technologies and features that are supported by the Xbox Series X and S have not been utilized so far, but that's a topic for another video. Interesting is that the phrasing in the aforementioned job listing is the following work closely with partners to develop software for future machine learning hardware. So I just want to mention here that it could also very well be a project that targets future unannounced hardware like for instance an enhanced console model. But for now I want to wrap this up. Smart upscaling technologies are the future for rendering graphics. It will become less and less important in which base resolution a game is rendered. DLSS on PC has impressively shown that machine learning based upscaling can free up a lot of computational resources with without sacrificing noticeable image quality. AMD's FSR 2.0 is rolling out to more and more games each and every month, coming also to consoles. Unreal Engine 5 is gonna be a beast for this generation and it supports its own upscaling technology natively. So we finally can get rid of this whole resolution discussion and focus more on actual graphic improvements like better lighting, like better particle effects, better texture quality, better character modeling and animations and so on. These are the fields where graphics can really improve improve rather than just rendering brute force at 4K. And seeing that Microsoft is actually investing in a machine based learning technology is quite interesting because the solution available on console from AMD is not based on machine learning. So I wonder if Microsoft will go the extra mile and also use machine learning for other stuff than just upscaling. But enough from me, I want to hear your thoughts on these efforts from Microsoft. Do you think it is necessary that Microsoft develops their own technology based on machine learning? When do you think we will see these upscaling technologies from Xbox or AMD FSR 2.0 fully implemented in console games. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below and as the dust from the Xbox showcase week is settling down, I'm going to return to doing more and more of these videos to discuss not just the tech related topics, but everything that a gamer can be excited about. So if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell to not miss out on some exciting content that is coming here very soon soon. I also want to say a big thank you to everyone who supports this channel with the channel memberships to get early access to all my videos, with the super thanks in the comment sections and of course the super chats during the weekly live shows I have here on my channel. And besides here on YouTube you can also hit me up on Twitter where I share a lot of opinions and gaming discussions. But for now, thank you very much for watching, I see you the next time and game on!